Cooper will make it out this time. He is a little poisoned. I think he'll be okay. Yeah, bottling up now. Man, oh man. A lot of pressure on this bottom lane. Forsaken Archer and Soul Reaper cleaning up with minions, attacks, and stuns. And like They're up 3 nothing in their lane now. Yeah, they're definitely playing really aggressive, and, and it's paying off for them. <laughs> Look at that top, though. Handy coming in for another gank on what looks to be the corpse of Succubus with the help of Defiler. And Defiler's now pushing this top lane. Defiler doesn't have an ultimate. Level 6 without the ult, so not going to be doing a huge tower push here, but going to be racking up that free farm. It's an interesting choice, and I can't really say that I agree with not getting your ults right away as Defiler, but, uh... Uh... That's how it is. Yeah, well, hey, these guys know what they're doing, so I'm going to trust in them. Soul Reaper looks like he's either going for wards or a gank in the middle. Uh, he does have that wards. So he could be putting it up somewhere, or he's going for the rune, but there's no rune to be had. Uh, they actually, the Legion there does have a Ward of Sight uh, by Yellow there to counter the Ward of, ward of Sight by Soul Reaper, so they know he's there. Vindicator saying hello with the Sage's Aura, but uh, maybe setting up here for a push. Or a gank, or a tower dive, or... <laughs> no, well, Polywalk's like sitting really low down there, and I know uh, Soul Reaper's hovering over that heal key, wanting to get that... But not willing to go go for it. Speaking of going for it, looks like uh, Hanny took out Dementia Shaman in the middle there, even with Swiftblade helping out. Swiftblade ultimately the ultimate of Fades to no great effect, and a bottled haste just allows Fade to come in and just chase him down with the auto attacks. Man, that Again, that was just really good play by Hanny. It was just seeing that the Swift Slashes are coming out and alting to take it off of himself and then waiting it out and getting the kill on Swift Blade. So that's just that's just good reaction from a pro player. Puts Fade at level 8, which is two levels higher than the entire Legion team, like anyone on their team. Uh, as they're all mostly hovering at the level 5 range. Uh, top lane, like, virtually nothing happened. We had a Succubus kill and... Uh, that's it. <laughs> so, it will just keep uh, pushing there. Looks like another uh, initiation here by Swiftblade going in with that uh, Whirlwind. Dementia Sham putting out a slow on Fade, and now it's looking like a backfire. Fade coming in with Slither here, and look at this burst damage on Swiftly. It just goes down so quickly, and there was really nothing that uh, Dementia Shaman could do. I heard a heal go out, didn't see where it landed. Obviously, it just did not do what he wanted it. Definitely, and that just puts Hani's farm up over 300 gold per minute, and that's not good ne news at all for the Legion team. I just caught that on camera. Uh, Slither going down to a Succubus ult and a Demented Shaman auto attack, so a little bit of revenge, but it's Hani that, you know, he's playing that Fade character so well. Six kills and zero deaths, and even zero assists, because he's killed everything that's come up his way. They're the ones that really they need to exact some vengeance on, but hey, a kill's a kill. Take it if you can. Yeah, definitely. Alright, so... Oops, sorry. We got uh, Fade now. Bottle, power supply, and just finished up some steam boots. Throwing out his uh, illusion, which he's actually not using. He's just using his invis, invis here to scout out bottom. So we're, you know, following the trend of this game, we're probably looking at another gank coming right up on Vindicator. Which is not going to be good news for him at all. Hanny kind of just leaving his illusion out there in the forest, I guess, as an uh, early detection system. Oh, now he moves it around. Really nothing else going on in the map, so we'll just keep following this invis fade. Looks like a three push now for the bottom. We got at least Rasta. Oh, Hanny finding Rasta out in the middle. Hits him with uh, Burning Shadow and that side swap. Rasta now running back into the woods seems to be a second home these days, but uh, nothing else really. Uh, Alright, you think they could have uh, gotten a kill there had uh, he been a bit more patient? Well, his, his ult was running out and uh, Soul Reaver was still sitting in the lane, so it was an ideal situation, but uh, he probably just couldn't take down both of them at the same time, so it was a good call just to, to run away.
Looks like Succubus is uh, trying to do some damage to him in the middle here with Slither. Uh, did come up through the forest, didn't, uh, did, couldn't get a gank off on Succubus, so back to farming. Got uh, Hellborn actually warding up the, the bottom... That's not actually that word, that's a Legion word, so Legion actually watching uh, Hellborn go around their forest here and Rasta coming in, sorry, Polywalk Priest coming in for a tongue tie and nothing else, misses the stun, gets a succubus ult off and looks like a few auto attacks will do the trick. Smackdown. And a smackdown announced. These guys mean business. <laughs> But uh, composed of that down bottom, up top we got Swiftblade, Slither, and a Fade taking out uh, Yellow, who is Dementia Shaman, so Handy just swooping in for a kill there. It looks like Swiftblade teleported away. Uh, can't really blame him. Three heroes up top here with the very powerful Fade and an Illusion Rune, so... Oh man, that's a lot of damage, and this tower is definitely going down. It is a lot of damage, but that's a little unfortunate for Swiftblade because you can see that Slither came out just as he, uh, just as he was teleporting, and Swiftblade still had those Swiss slashes up, and you gotta think that he could, probably could have picked him off if he had stayed for about five seconds longer. Um, I don't know. When I'm losing 10-4, I'm a little discouraged myself, and I'm just trying to preserve my record at any at that point. So, <laughs> yeah, might have just well, been a little bit of nervousness. Yeah. It's true. It's true, and and. Uh, being a little intimidated does definitely play into into uh, into how these games turn out. So, Swiftblade not being intimidated there, and there comes his ultimate. Uh, not to a huge effect, but he got a kill off on Slither, just exactly as we were talking about. Yeah, that was a little unfortunate, as you said. It did bounce to the creep wave, but he managed to pick one off. So, Hanny using that very powerful ult as a uh, scouting tool here. Where did his illusion go? Doesn't really matter because they get another kill off on Succubus. This one actually going to Defiler. Not going to be able to take out Vindicator, but they're choosing, they're wisely choosing not to tower dive with Demented Shaman right there. Looks like bottom tower with that double ranged lane uh, will be taking out that defense tower though. With a portal stone coming in, wow, they might actually save this tower. Nope, they didn't save the tower, but Swiftblade coming in there with a nice Swift and a tongue tied by Polywog. Down goes Soul Reaper, and now maybe even uh, <laughs> with a blind shot by Forsaken Archer taking out Polywog Priest, and now maybe even going to be taking out Swiftblade. Swiftblade's running away. It looks like Forsaken Archer will get out of there nice and quick. Oh, nope, nope, never mind, look at that. <laughs> Fade coming in for a nut, another kill. Yeah, and Fade is now a level 11 compared to the highest is 8 on the Legion team, and so she's just capable of taking anyone down to, you know, a, qu a quarter of their life with, with that combo. It's just devastating. Now by combo you mean uh, the, the, the burning shadow and then the side swipe? I think it's burning. Yeah, coming out of her alt with... Um, with her stun and her mana burn is, is just taking down these these squishy squishy legion heroes. Squishy's definitely the word. Like they got Succubus, Vindicator, and Dementia Shaman. Yeah, and you could even make a case that Polywog Priest is even squishy. Just looking at their hit point pools, and they're all seven hundred range. Six hundred on Vindicator. So I've got a nice push in the middle here by Legion, uh, getting out those Rasta wards. Uh, here comes the portal stones and the tower defense, so that will be repelled and free money for the Hellborn. Do you note though, we don't we do have a fade in the forest ready for a gank. <laughs> yeah, Fade is just playing with so much confidence right now, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, he would just open up on these people. But his team is coming and they're gonna push this tower mid. Well, I think they